watching WCIA 3 News at 6. For months, it's been unclear just how full courtrooms would be following the end of the state's eviction moratorium. That is, until now. Tonight, a new Target 3 investigation reveals in the month after it was lifted, landlords filed the most eviction cases in three years in at least a few of our largest counties. Our investigative reporter, Renee Cooper, has been following the story long before it expired. So, Renee, tell us, how many people have lost their homes? Well, the year and a half eviction pause ended exactly four months ago. That was on October 3rd, and that month, 87 evictions were filed. That's here. That was in Macon County, and since evictions were paused in 2020, let's focus on the change between 2019 and 2020. That was a 770% increase. Now, in Champaign County, there was a 15% increase between 2019 and 2021. And numbers aside, I took some time to sit in the courtroom to see that impact for myself. It did surprise me. I thought we'd have a bigger bump. I never thought we'd have the wave that everybody talked about, but I did think we'd have more of a bump. Champaign County Associate Judge Brett Olmstead says after a surge of filings in October, it was immediately back to the volume you'd see in a pre-pandemic eviction court. I think what you're seeing is that our local agencies were really active about getting the word out and talking to people and getting making the most of the rent assistance funds that they had. So of the 376 cases filed in Champaign County between October and the end of the year, how many ended in someone losing their housing? Judge Olmstead says at least 50 percent, likely closer to 70. I think a lot of people think that if they could only just have a judge listen to their story, they'd be able to avoid eviction. That's not the way the law works. Here's how it does work. The landlord has to give a written five day notice. At that point, the tenant has five days to bring rent payments up to date. If that doesn't happen, that's it. You get an eviction order under the law. It's a rather quick resolution legally. What gets a little more complicated for the landlords is getting reimbursed for owed rent. I would say that odds are low. Eviction court is poverty court. If people are being evicted because they haven't paid their rent, it's not because they chose to buy a Ferrari instead. It's, it's because they chose to eat. When they end up in court, how, oh, how many of them are dealing with financial hardship? I would say probably 99.9%. .9 Rosa Drucker coordinates an eviction mediation program at both the Champaign and Macon County courthouses. We told you about it launching over the summer. The goal of mediation is not to keep landlords and tenants together. Sometimes the best option for both sides is to find a dignified exit to that relationship and go their separate ways. Do you feel like it's actually changing outcomes? Absolutely. Drucker has mediated 38 cases in Champaign County alone. Many are ongoing, but of the 16 now closed, five signed an agreement to move out, four created a payment plan to stay, and seven worked through the rental assistance process. I sat in on a day of eviction hearings myself. With about one exception, hearings were reset to give every renter who was actively applying for help more time to do so. Mediation has been able to resolve issues and keep people in their homes. Olmstead encourages landlords to help tenants pursue rent assistance money. He says that might be the only way to get paid. It's also a factor keeping the volume of evictions at bay. Should there be some sort of permanent rent assistance program considering evictions are no different than they were in 2019? I think that's beyond my expertise. Olmstead did tell me at the forefront of eviction court, is a low-income housing problem. Frontline policymakers need to think about low-income housing and what you're going to do with having an adequate supply of low-income housing because that supply is dwindling. It's going to become a crisis at some point. Now, rent assistance programs are also starting to fade away, and is there a possibility renters that are hurting to pay their bills are back near square one? We'll hear from them coming up later in the newscast. In the meantime, you can find a much deeper breakdown of the statistics compiled for this report on our website, including the outcomes for mediation over in Macon County and more advice from the experts. Back to you. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes.